What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a front bucket in the front hatch of a Hobie PA. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. What you think? I think it's way too short. Crap! Alright, so we actually are going to be installing the rod pod today. Uh, we're just going to assemble it and install it on the side of the trailer. It's super easy. I've done a couple of them before in the past. All you need is an 8 foot stick of 6 inch PVC and this Reese kit. I will link this Reese kit in the video description. Uh, I'll put the Amazon link somewhere down there. You just click it. They'll take you right to it on Amazon. I think it's like $59 or $60. And then the actual PVC, it comes in a 10 foot stick. You have to cut two feet off of it to make it the eight foot. I think that was about $45. So all together, you can build your rod pod for a hundred bucks. And it's well worth it, I think, if you're going on long trips and you're stopping at gas at a gas station or you want to go in and eat somewhere and you've got all your gear on the back of the trailer, these rods we use are pretty expensive and you kind of want to secure them up. You don't want somebody to just walk up and pick up one of your rods and walk off with it. So these rod pods are able to fit, I think my last one I was able to fit 10 or 12 rod and reel combos inside of it, shut it and lock it so nobody could steal my stuff. So they're really great. If you're interested in building it, stick around, watch me assemble it. It's super simple. We're going to install it on the side of the kayak trailer. And don't forget, watch to the end of this video. We're going to talk about the giveaway. I'm going to be doing that right here on this video, the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, we hit 10,000 subscribers, I think, two weeks ago. And I've had a lot of people kick in some stuff. We're going to be giving away uh, one of the Guardian Angel Lights, a $50 Amazon gift card. We've got a lot of cool people kicking in. At the end of this video, I'm going to go over all of that, and I'm going to tell you exactly how you can win it. All right, so let's get into the build. Let's go over to the bench. All right, so this is the kit that I was talking about. Is the Reese Carry Pro is the trans rack conduit carrier. Uh, it's made for like ladder racks and stuff like that on like plumbing bands and stuff. But this works really well for transporting your rods. A lot of people use it. And I'm gonna open it up and show you everything that comes with it. I think I'm gonna open it up. How does it, there it goes. So it comes with everything you need to seal this pipe up, have a spot to put a lock on it, and bolt it to your trailer, which is really cool. It comes with the instructions. On the top, you get four U-bolts. I'm only gonna be using two of these U-bolts because we're gonna be mounting it straight to the side of the trailer, which is a plus because you know on the other side of the kayak trailer, I'm building the pressurized water tank, and I'm gonna use the other two mounting bolts for it so I don't have to buy any because these are really hard to find. They're, uh, they're not exactly six inches because this, it goes around the outside diam diameter of the pipe. There we go. So this is what they look like. You get four of them. And the way these are designed, originally they're supposed to go on like a roof rack on the car. So you'd have two on one side and two on the other. And they got these brackets that come with the box and the brackets will bolt across the bottom of the actual ladder rack. But since we're going through the board and I've already got kind of a rack system on here, we'll just use two, one on each end. So we got that. Here's the locking end. It's got a pull spring loaded little spring uh, hook thing that comes back around and you pull it out and it secures it on. And then you also have the little hole here so you can put your padlock straight through it. And it's also got a good gasket all the way around. It seals everything up really well. Next, you have the end cap, which is metal. And this is, this is all metal, it is not PVC. You got your end cap that goes on the other end to seal it up. It's got the four holes on the side so you can secure it with some screws. And then you got your, your nuts, your washers, and the little brace plates that are supposed to go across the U-bolts, but we're not gonna use them. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our end cap on. Uh, you can use silicone and go around the outside edge of the PVC pipe before you put this on. It gives it a better seal. I'll probably go back and add the silicone later. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just secure it on the end of the, the pipe and go ahead and mark my spots, drill my holes, and put the screws in so we can just lock it down. Then I'll, later on, you know, off camera, I'll just go back and I'll squirt some silicone and seal it up really well. Because I do plan on painting this, I'll probably paint it black whenever we paint the trailer black so everything matches really good. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to put this end cap on. And like I said, you can put silicone around it, get it sealed up really good if you want to prior to mounting it. But I'm just going to do it this way for the sake of the video. You got your four mounting holes and it comes with your screws. What I like to do though, in order to make sure everything is in place and get all your holes drilled so you're not fighting that bit trying to get it in there. If you take some tape and stretch it across the cap pretty tight against the pipe, it'll hold it in place for you where you can drill your holes. That way you don't have to like have someone hold it for you in place or you don't drill a hole where it don't need to be. Just like here. Now we remove our tape and we know that our holes are the equal distance away so the cap's going to be up snug. So now that we got the holes drilled all you got to do now is put your cap on and line one of your holes up. Kind of get it started a little bit. I'm not going to tighten it all the way down. I'm going to go across to the one on the other side and get it started. Try not to break everything on my bench. I'm gonna tighten them all down. All right, there you go. The rear cap's on. There is a gap. You wanna come right here and show that gap right here? This is the gap I was telling you about. It's gonna be there. If you want it watertight and sealed, you can do like I'm gonna do before I paint. I'm gonna fill that with some clear silicone all the way around. It should be good though. Now I'm gonna flip this pipe over and we're gonna put the hatch end on. And on this end, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna leave the latch shut so the door's not flapping open. I'm gonna get it on there, tape it in place. Make sure it's tight against it because you, you don't want to have it loose and then drill it in, and then have all that play at the front. So I think I got it pretty good. And we're just going to do the same thing. I'm gonna leave the tape on there because it's holding it pretty good for me. I can go ahead and start these all the way around. Bada boom, bada bing. That's all it takes. And the same thing goes for this side. We're gonna silicone it up before I paint it. And now you've got this latch. It pulls spring, spring loaded. It's got a good seal on the door. Good place to store your fishing rods. And I know it doesn't look huge on the, on the inside of this, but it really is. And another thing I like to do, and I'll do later, the screws, they barely come through, as you can see. They stick out just a little bit out of the PVC, and you don't want them to scratch up your rod and reels or scratch your hand getting in and out. So I go back later with a file, and I'll file those down smooth so they're, you know, they're not gonna cut you, because they are pretty sharp. There it is. Now we're gonna move over and bolt it to the trailer. It's gonna look really good right here. We're gonna put the matching water tank on the other side. And we're gonna be able to store our rods right on the side of the kayak. We'll grab the U-bolts so we can figure out exactly where we're gonna be drilling our holes. 
A lot of you guys aren't going to have a trailer like mine if you come over here to look. Uh, if you're not, if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen this trailer build, this is the one that we're starting this season. This is a new kayak trailer. I built another one to hold multiple kayaks a couple of years back, but this one is specifically going to be for hauling just one kayak. So I'm going to have my rod pods and the water pressurized tank, and it's going to be really cool. We're going to build this trailer up right here on the channel so you guys can kind of follow along every step of the way. I added these, uh, this board, this carpeted board on each side. It's kind of like a step. I had the room to do it on my trailer. If your trailer doesn't have that, you can still use the U-bolts to go up against the side of the trailer wall, or you can add you a couple of these little tracks that you, if you need to. It's really simple to figure out a way to, to mount these rod pods to your trailer. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use the U-bolts, and we're gonna bolt them straight to this board here on both sides. So we'll have the rod pod right on the side of the boat. One's gonna go on this end, and then one's gonna come down here on this end. So all I'm doing here is I'm making sure that I have the PVC pipe kind of center and where I'm gonna mount it. And I'm just gonna put the U-bolt over the top of it, find where I want to mount it, which is, I don't want it right on the edge of the board, the wood, because I don't want it to splinter on me. So I'm gonna kind of even out both sides. I'm just marking it. All right. Before we get to tighten the U-bolts down, I do want to share something with you that Chris brought up. Uh, I was fixing to mount it the other way around for the flap. You have to open it from the top. And I remember doing that before and it kind of sucked and he, reminded me that if you do it with the lock at the top then it's easier because it you don't have to hold this lid open to get your stuff in and out it just kind of opens up for you and stays out of the way for you to bring it up and lock it so that's how we're going to mount it on this one good little tip thanks chris so now all i got to do is i'm going to put some washers on each one of these u-bolts and then we're going to it comes with these locking nuts they lock on and you know they won't back off we're gonna put each one of these nuts on there, tighten it down, and we should be good to go. So that is how you build and install a rod pod. Like I said, it is super simple. All you need is the Reese kit and the PVC pipe in about 30 minutes and you can put it on your trailer, you can put it on the roof of your van, your truck, whatever you wanna do and it keeps all of your rods locked up and secure. Uh, they hold, as you can tell, it holds uh, your bait casters on the rod, you know, the rod reel combo. Or if you want to just cram a whole bunch of rods on there, you can pull your reels off and pack them separately. And it will really hold a whole bunch of rods, you know, just if you just put the rods in there, they'll stack really well. Alright, so now I want to talk about the giveaway, the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Like I said last week, I really appreciate all the support. It's amazing you guys have been supporting me. My channel is just blowing up over the past six months. And I really want to thank you guys for that. And a lot of people have pitched in for this giveaway. We have Guardian Angel. They have shipped me the light from last week's video. If you didn't see last week's video, go check it out. Check out the front bow light. They're sending me the green and red front bow light, the wireless LED light, with the bow mount to give to one of you guys in this giveaway. So we're going to be doing the Guardian Angel light. Arizona Kayak Guy, he's a YouTuber. I'm gonna link him in the video description below. Go check him out. He is donating a $50 Amazon gift card to the same winner. So you've got your Guardian Angel Light, your $50 Amazon gift card, and a local subscriber, John Wallace. He contacted me and said he wanted to donate for the subscriber giveaway. He is a member of the Veterans3.org. Uh, it's, it's a support group for veteran suicides. It's a really good cause. I'm gonna link that in the video description. He's sending me a bunch of stuff to give away to the winner as well. I think it's a knife and some hats, a $20 Amazon gift card he's throwing in there. So it's gonna be all kind of stuff to win. All right, so now you're like, TJ, just tell me how to win. I wanna win, tell me how to enter. All you have to do to win this contest is 
comment on this video. Leave a comment in, under this video of your favorite Kayak USA moment. It can be a Kayak USA, one of my DIY videos, it can be an adventure videos, the mothership build. I want you to share with me your favorite, it doesn't have to be your favorite video, it can just be your favorite moment on this channel so far, what you like the best. And I'm going to pick my favorite comment and next week's video I'm going to announce the winner. Simple, it's that easy. You're going to win like $70 in Amazon gift cards, your very own Guardian Angel Light, and I think this thing is like $112 on their site. So. That's a very good deal. I'm going to ship it straight to you. You're going to get the stuff that John Wallace is sending, the knife, the hat, you know, all the really cool stuff. And, you know, I like getting his name out there, the, the veterans3gun.org. I'm going to have that link below again. Make sure you check it out. It helps veterans suicide. It's a really good support group for the veterans. And that's it. That's all you got to do to enter. Comment below your favorite moment in Kayak USA. I'm going to pick it. Next week's video, I'll announce the winner. All right guys, that is gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Check out one of my DIY videos or an adventure video. Stick around, I've got a lot of cool things coming up for the summer of 2019. Some big changes are coming up, guys. If you're still watching, I know you're part of the Yak Squad community. I appreciate your support. I do have a big surprise coming very soon. Just wanna throw that out there. Keep watching, there's some big things happening in my life right now that I'm gonna be able to share with you guys. See you next time.